going to take a quick look at smart blocks in Gibbon and how they work for planning. So I'm going to go into Learn and then Planner. Instead of looking at my lesson planner here, and here I see, because uh, I'm an admin, I see all the lessons in my school. Those aren't my lessons. Instead of looking at the lesson planner, I'm going to go into the unit planner. And I'm going to choose one of the courses that I'm responsible for in my school, which is Year 7 ICT. What we can see here is a range of different units, and I'm going to show you the Epic Wallpaper unit. You can see that the unit has some basic content, it has some outcomes, and it's linked to these three different classes. It also has a unit outline, and this uh, pro forma is my own schools, but your school can set your own pro forma. Where Gibbon's different to some other systems is that the actual content for this unit is stored in smart blocks, which are arranged here. These belong to the unit, and these are all the different parts of content. We see it, each smart block has a title, a subtitle, or a category, and a length of time. Don't get too worried, these aren't exact times. Um, I just make sure they add up in blocks to the length of our lessons, which is 70 minutes. So you can see a block here that is 70 and a block below the 70. That just helps me create my lesson plan super quickly. So uh, let's check out this opening unit, the pitch. Want to make some eye candy? I can click on here and actually view the content that's in here. This part can be shared with students. This section below is only for teachers and I can check the outcomes for the unit that apply to this part of it. I can drag these around, rearrange them. Let me go like that, pick it up, I can move it around. Right. And this is really the content of the unit. What I can do then is quickly arrange that content for a lesson, uh, sorry, for a class here, this is uh, class 7.1. I can quickly deploy that out to that class. So here what I'll be able to see in this view is all of those blocks once it loads up. There's quite a lot of content in here. It might just take a moment. It doesn't usually take this long. I think it's because I'm doing a screen recording at the same time. But here we go. So I can now see lesson one for the Epic Wallpaper unit contains these blocks. Lesson two contains these blocks and so on. And as a teacher, this gives me the advantage of flexibly being able to control this unit for this class. I can edit the unit for this class. If I don't teach something in this lesson, I can pick it up and I can drop it into next lesson. I'm sorry, it's a little bit laggy because I'm uh, recording at the same time. So this becomes then a content management system for lessons. If I change something in this unit, it doesn't affect the master unit. But of course, I can copy the changes back to the master unit if I want. Once I have everything right and I've saved it, I can jump through and view a lesson. And I'll see all of that content that I had in my blocks down here in the lesson. So just in summary, what Smart Blocks gives you rather than fixed lesson plans is the ability to create content in a unit and then very quickly deploy that out to your lessons where it can be edited in isolation or then rolled back into the master unit encouraging a sort of constant improvement of your work. And that's Smart Blocks.